protect that surprise storm that produced a tornado yesterday. And now the storms that are all around greater Cincinnati and we'll be feeling that soon. Yeah, we are going to see some stormier weather begin to slide in here in the next couple of hours, although I don't think it's really going to be severe. I think we're going to dodge the bulk of any severe weather this particular go around here. Here's a live look at radar. Things are still relatively quiet across most of the area. Rain just now beginning to creep its way up into parts of northern Kentucky. Here's another vantage point and the radar shows you now that some of those storms beginning to creep up towards I-64. Notice all the yellow boxes, the yellow polygons. Those correspond with severe storms. Notice they're all for the most part well to our south. So that's why I expect the bulk of the severe weather to remain this evening deeper down in the parts of the bluegrass. While I certainly won't rule out a rogue stronger storm kind of creeping up towards the Ohio River with a little wind, maybe some hail. The best threat for severe weather should stay to our south and east. We're just on the northern periphery, northern fringe here. So as you head down into the bluegrass again, farther south and east of Cincinnati, I won't rule out at least a small, slightly greater risk for maybe something stronger to pop up. And again, any threats from storms this evening to our south will generally come from the potential for some strong winds and maybe a little bit of hail. There will be thunder and lightning, I think, for most of us later on this evening. So here's a look at your evening forecast. Bring along an umbrella. You'll need it. You still got a few more hours here in the metro and areas north of the Ohio River to actually enjoy a relatively nice start to the evening, but after about 7 o'clock south of the Ohio River, rain will be moving in with maybe a little thunder and lightning. Here's another look from high atop Mount Auburn. As we look to our south, you can kind of see some of the darker skies there. 67 right now is where we're currently sitting at the airport. We've got this little storm system tonight that's kind of spinning its way through the Ohio Valley. It's going to slide over towards maybe towards West Virginia by morning. The bulk of the severe weather is where they had a little more heat and humidity today down across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee, but this will come through overnight with a round of showers and storms. Here we are at 8 o'clock. You can see a lot of that approaching the Ohio River. So between, let's say, now and 8, if you're in the metro and points north, you're probably going to enjoy some pretty dry weather and comfortable conditions. But here we are through the dinner time hours, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Rain moves across the area. And the threat for severe weather will be early this evening, just for a few hours. It should be over by about 10 for those folks to our south here. And then we'll just kind of be left with some on and off light, steadier rains through the overnight. I don't think this is one of the scenarios where we've got a lot of thunder and lightning while you try to sleep. This rain will be over tomorrow morning. We'll be left with gloomy conditions. Let's hope that we can squeeze in a few peaks at the sun late tomorrow afternoon. So we've got storms and downpours moving in here this evening. We'll only drop to 57 tonight as it should remain quite mild. And then for tomorrow, kind of an ugly, gloomy start to the day. I do think the rain will be over, though, by morning 63 for an afternoon high. Keep your fingers crossed for a little late day sun. Here's a look at your day planner. 55 to start in the morning, 59 by lunchtime, and then we'll creep our way with a few peaks at the sun into the low 60s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. A little bit cooler tomorrow night as we drop down to 41. We get a break in here on Wednesday. Wednesday looks like a nice day with temperatures around 60. And then another one of those storm systems, very similar to what we're dealing with today, will come cruising through the area Thursday into Friday. This could bring us another round of stormy weather. I'll keep a close eye on that. But then we'll squeeze in a nice weekend in between a second area of rain. And look what's popped up on the end of the seven day there. What's that opening day? next Monday, right? Unfortunately, we'll keep a close eye on this. We'll try to fine tune this. It always seems to work out this way. We do have a little rain in the forecast for opening day, but of course, timing is everything. Can't have that blonde head soaked next to me <laughs> no. on the Reds oh, parade the float. Hair. We're going to be riding around for two hours on that float. And the wind, of course. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Always a Cincinnati connection.